Hi, my name is Adam Fink. We are here at the Oakland Zoo with the New Guinea walking sticks. All of our walking sticks here are from um, Southeast Asia. Uh, there are walking sticks that range all the way from North America all the way into South America, Asia, Australia, um, so Africa, all parts of the world have walking sticks. These walking sticks eat uh, nothing but plants. Uh, mainly the leaves of plants here at the Oakland Zoo, they primarily eat blackberry greens. Everything that they're, um, all the green stuff in here with the spikes on it are from uh, blackberry bramble that grows all over the zoo. No, they never have a problem with the thorns. Um, they usually don't eat the thorns, they just eat the leaves, but they seem to be unaffected by all the spiky leaves. Um, a lot of animals will eat these guys. Um, their primary defense is camouflage. So they're going to try to stay hidden all during the day. That's why they're called walking sticks, because they kind of look like sticks or maybe a piece of bark or something that's not alive. Um, but anything that would find them would eat them, different primates. Um, um, do people eat them? Um, in certain parts of the world, a lot of insects are eaten. They are actually very nutritious. Um, these guys, I believe, would fall under the um, edible for human category. Um, what, their legs look very unusual. What is that all about? Um, well, their legs, they are very spiky. It is kind of a form of defense, but they do have um, little hooks to help them climb around. They also have small section pads on there to hold on to smoother surfaces. And like all insects, they have six legs. They are full size, so that's about maybe five or six inches long. Um, all insects perform a pretty important function. They are um, a very important um, part of the food, um, the food chain um, near the bottom. They're, these guys in particular, they're going to take plant energy and transform it into um, animal protein, and then a lot of animals will eat that. So they're a very important part of the ecosystem to provide nutrients to many of the other animals higher up. You say they transform it into animal protein. You mean mm -hmm. they eat the leaves and then they get eaten by the other animals. Yep. Their, their role in, country, in their contribution is to get eaten. Right? Pretty much. That's their main role in life is to eat and be eaten. These guys live about seven or eight months. Um, the giant thorny walking sticks, they can live uh, almost two years. So they're fairly long-lived insects. Also, these guys, um, a lot of insects are used by Hollywood to model, um, especially for a lot of alien life, because these guys do look very alien. These guys in particular um, were used as a model for um, Men in Black. One of the aliens in Men in Black look almost exactly like these guys. These guys have fairly large eggs. Their eggs are about the size of a pea. This is one of the walking stick eggs. As you can see, it's very large. This walking stick here hatched a couple days ago wow. out of an egg that size, which is pretty impressive. I don't know how a walking stick that big actually fits in an egg that small. He gets in this pose to mimic a scorpion, so he looks big and tough like a scorpion, like don't, you know, don't mess with me, I'm a scorpion, I can hurt you. But they just look that way, they're not really venomous. So that big spur there, that's his defensive spur that he can use to um, try to deter something that's going to eat him. He w can, um, if something got in between his leg and that spur, he would pinch his leg closed and um, it's going to hurt quite a bit. It might draw blood.